is in. Six suburban school districts ask for more time before Kansas City kids are allowed in their schools. But a Jackson County judge said no. Zach Tecklenburg shows us what that means when school is back in session. Zach? Elizabeth, superintendents for six districts neighboring Kansas City predict chaos if KCPS students are allowed into their schools after January 1st. That's when Kansas City loses accreditation. Despite their predictions, Judge W. Brent Powell ruled this afternoon to deny the district's request for a temporary restraining order, which would have bought the districts more time to prepare for those incoming students. Just how many students plan to transfer, that's unknown. But between all six districts, lawyers say there have been 1,600 inquiries. While the judge has issued his ruling, the six districts say they can still deny Kansas City students that want to transfer after the new year because of issues with tuition and transportation. We will not enroll them until uh, we can assure our taxpayers that they're not going to flip the bill for educating Kansas City, Missouri School District yes. students. Kansas City Schools released a statement just an hour ago. Interim Superintendent Dr. Stephen Green says, quote, the entire process represents uncharted waters. No president precedent exists for this process. He also got, goes on to say that the district will move forward with careful thought and planning and will continue to operate in the best interest of students and families. The suburban districts will be back in court for a preliminary injunction hearing on January 12th, which they hope will bring more clarification to this confusing situation. Zach Tecklenburg, NBC Action News.